Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. If this is your first time here, this is basically our studio where we keep all our dinosaurs and our animals collection. Okay, so today what I intend to do is to show you guys my collection of fish and sea animals right here. Okay, this box basically contains all the fish that we have some turtles and some rays okay a lot of them are actually new figures which i may not be able to you know remember the name so i need the help of you guys okay so let's begin but before we start i'm gonna let you guys know that at the end of the video i'm gonna show you guys some updates of what is coming up okay on dan surprise and of course dan safari as well so let's begin Alright guys, so let's begin, okay? So firstly, let's take a look at these two really beautiful arowanas. As you guys know, they are extremely popular for fish collectors. Very popular in aquariums, really beautiful. They are also very expensive as well. Okay, next up, this fish figure has been added to our collection only recently, okay? This is known as a humpback wrasse. Really beautiful and you can see there's a little hump on top of his head and it has really thick lips, alright? It looks very, very adorable. Next up, another adorable looking fish, I would say, but of course, it can deflate and inflate itself to become a spiky ball, which is sort of like protecting it against other predators. Very adorable looking, but I think some of them are poisonous if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's see what else we have. Right here, we have a bad bircher. Alright, you can see it looks very similar to the other Nile bircher that we have, which I'm going to show you guys later on. So I'm going to put this one right here first for comparison. Okay, next up, we have an Atlantic bluefin tuna. Alright. Next up, what about this one? A spotted seal, I think. Yeah, that's right. Really beautiful figure. Uh, we added this figure not too long ago. It is a figure from Collecte. Okay, next up. Let's see. What are the new figures that we have added recently? I think this can be considered one of the newer ones. An angler fish right here, guys. Really beautiful figure. I think this is from... Uh, I'm not too sure. This is probably from... I don't think it's from Peppo. It's from Collecte. Wow, okay. So we do have a couple of angler fish figures, but I think this one has got to be the best one so far. So this is the other angler fish, okay? So this little structure here can actually emit light and that will attract small little fish and other sea animals, which will then lead them very close to its mouth so they can actually eat them much easily okay let's see what else we have what is this i think this is known as a sturgeon yes this is also one of the new figures added recently okay i'm gonna put this one for i think this one is known as the crucian cop really beautiful figure too bad it doesn't have the name written right below so it's you know we can actually easily forget about them especially when they are so new okay this one is actually a black snapper we do have a red snapper right here and this is actually known as the northern uh, red snapper so you can see they have very similar appearance except for the colors you can see the shape of the fin is quite similar right the dorsal fins as well right so we have two snapper northern red snapper and a black snapper Okay, this one is actually known as a blue fin gurnaut. It looks like a mud skipper to me when it comes to the face, but you can see this fish is actually extremely colorful. You are able to find like different colors on its body. Orange, green, blue, yellow. Wow, it's just amazing. And you know, it seems to have like a pair of wings. Yeah, it looks very, very unique, I would say. And speaking of unique sea animals, we have one which is even more unique, guys. Have you ever heard of a fish that can actually walk on the ocean seafloor? Okay, they don't exactly walk, but they actually use these two fins to paddle themselves on the ocean seabed. 
which is kind of cool. So this is known as a frogfish. Let's see what other new figures we are able to find. This one, if I'm not wrong, is known as the alligator gar. Beautiful figure. Yep, you can see their surface and the texture is like really shiny. What else do we have? This one was a fish that I had a hard time trying to find its name. And I realized that it's known as a rat fish. All right. Right here, we have two blue tanks. And if I'm not wrong, they should be the same. But the name of this figure, when I purchased it, it was actually written as the yellow fin blue tang. So I'm not too sure whether there are like different species of blue tangs around because this um, is written only as a blue tang. So they could be different species, but you know, I'm not too sure. Next up, we have a gulp. Gulper eel. So this has got to be one of the weirdest looking sea animals in my collection. Blue spotted ray. Okay. Piranha, known as very notorious fish. They are always termed as a man-eating fish. All right. This is a marble ray. All right. They basically get the name because of the patterns on his body which makes them look like a marble slab or a marble stone, a slab of marble stone. We have a tiny little dugong, okay? Leopard seal, okay? Next up, we have a large mouth bass. Let's see what, what else we have, which are the recent new figures. How come I can't seem to find other new fish? Okay, this one is pretty new as well. It's known as a long fish. Quite a beautiful figure. This is known as a Nile Bircher. So previously I've shown you guys the, um, the Bot Bircher. So you can see they do have a lot of similarities. Similar snout, similar body, and um, the fins on top are almost identical. So Nile Bircher and Bart Bircher. So I guess they are like different species, different breeds. Not different species, different breeds. Here we have a California sea lion. We do have a couple of sea lions in our collection. Here is another one. Quite a nice one from Schleich. They're extremely intelligent. Koi fish. We have two koi fish in our collection and koi fish are well known for their longevity they are able to grow up to 100 years some even 200 years old which is kind of incredible okay this one um it's another another bass a silver bass so you can see the fins do have similarities this too this is a largemouth bass and this one is a um, yeah, silver bass. I'm not too sure what's the exact breed name. Here's another anglerfish. We have two walrus right here. This one is actually from Safari Ltd. And this one uh, is from Wano, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. A brand from Hong Kong. Leatherback sea turtle. We have a couple of leatherback sea turtles. This one is actually from Safari LTD and this one from Collecte. So Leatherback Sea Turtles are quite different from other turtles. This is a one this one is from Peppo. So you can see this is um you know sea turtles that we are usually quite familiar with. This is a Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle baby. You can see on this shell you're able to find hexagonal shapes. Whereas for um, for example, like the ladder back sea turtle, you don't find hexagonal shapes. It's basically like ridges along the shells. Very nice. Okay, we have another leopard seal right here. Box fish has got to be one of the very interesting looking fish. Its body is basically shaped like a box. Starfish. I think we should get a few more starfish because we only have one and um, 
There are definitely way more starfish figures out there which are more colourful. Um, Manta Ray. Stingray with a, st with a little... What do you call this? The stink, I, I guess. This is really, really um, powerful and um, very dangerous as well. So if you see a stingray, please do not go near it. It can basically strike you with its tail. Salmon. Very popular um, fish for food, I would say. A lot of people use them as food. Here's another ray. This is a large mouth, um, a Goliath grouper. I beg your pardon, Goliath grouper. Another walrus right here from Schleich. Another sea turtle baby. Is this another alligator gar? I think so. So we have two similar ones. Nice. Red ear slider, not a sea animal because they can um they, they can't survive in the sea for sure. They can be found in like ponds and rivers. And they can live on land as well. A manatee. Do not be confused with a dugong. They do have similarities, but they actually look quite different. If you take a look at their flippers, you know, this one seems to have like finger like structures. And when it comes to the mouth, this has a very flat snout, and this is more like roundish and um, circular. Definitely very different. But uh, I think they are closely related as well. Here's another manatee. Flatfish! One of my most favorite weird fish of all time. So if you take a look you know, at this fish, it has fins on both sides. Okay? But this fish is always flat on the ground. And you can see both the eyes are on one side and the other side doesn't have any eyes. It's just a very very weird fish, right? I mean, if you want to lie flat, why do you have this flipper on the underside? Yeah, it's, it's just very interesting. And as they grow, the positioning of the eyes will also shift. It's just a very, very, very weird fish. But this is the beauty of um, modern nature, I, I guess. Okay, this one... Some people told me that this is a butterfly fish, but I think this is a Moorish idol. I'm not too sure. I know this is the... um. Oh, is this a butterfly fish? Let me know down below, guys. This is a fox faced rabbit fish, for sure. Mansa ray. Sea turtle. And it's actually a loggerhead turtle. But you can see this um, figure, when it comes to the detailing, it's kind of like. It's not, it's not very well detailed, I would say. Catfish. Not a sea animal. They can't, they can't be found in the sea, they can be found in swamps and murky rivers. Big sea turtle. Okay. I I'm gonna put th this two into one of the larger box because we have no space. Here's another turtle. Spotted seal. This one is a harp seal. Okay, leather back sea turtle. Let me just put this on the end. Silo can. I should probably put this into our prehistoric fish collection. What do you guys think? Should I? Yeah, I think we should. But we are running out of space right there as well. Yeah, I think let's, let me just put this one back into the box for now. Clownfish. We have three of them. This one is from uh, Mojo. Very nice. This one is actually from Safari LTD. And this one, it's um, a Bandai Disney Pixar one. So this is basically Nemo, I think. Tiny Little Manta Ray. I can't remember what is the name of this, guys. Totally forgotten about this. Sailfish. With a couple of um, small little rays, this is a cow nose ray. This is a sea lion. Eagle ray. Mansa ray. Mansa ray. Fox face rabbit fish. Blue tank. 
um, flying fish, a sea turtle that has been bitten by Tutu last time when Tutu was young. <laughs> Real shark. A green ray, this shouldn't be here for sure. Oh, we still haven't put the crucian cop back into the box. Wow, this box is like it was it's getting it's, it's like fuller right now than you know when I first poured it out, you know. Atlantic bluefin tuna. I have no idea what this is until today. I mean if you guys know what type of ray this is. Please help me out. Just comment down below. Waris, a tiny little manatee, dugong, ladderback sea turtle. This little sea animals are pretty cool, I would say. A smaller mentari. So, yep, I'm gonna put this one back back in. This one has to go into the whales and dolphins collection. Okay. So yes, that's about it. So we have finished. Um, the video so just some updates for you guys is that tomorrow I will be unboxing this new Pro Ceratosaurus basic figure which I think looks really nice uh, I'll be showing you guys some of the um, older figures on from Jurassic Park as well and uh, let me just grab hold of my camera guys all right so um, what else are there yeah I think recently we have actually added a new mask which is this T-Rex mask this T-Rex mask has been missing from my collection for like the longest time guys it's really hard to find but I finally got it at a uh, like quite a hefty price I would say I usually don't pay that much for um, a mask so we are hoping to receive the new Alan Grant and um, Velociraptor Hamlin collection figure yeah once it's here I'm gonna put it right in and we are about to finish our Mosasaurus repaint really soon. Hopefully, by Saturday, I'll be able to show you guys. I think that will be pretty cool. Alright, um, in our next Dan Safari video, I'll probably show you guys some Gujitsu animal figures, okay? We have a shark, we also have an elephant. So I think it will be cool to show you guys, okay? So stay tuned. Please subscribe if you have done so. In case that you guys do not know, I do have an Instagram account and um, TikTok account. You can follow me on both platforms, okay? And if you guys want like a personalized video from me, you can. I will mention your name. You can actually place an order, which is which can be found in our About Us tab. It can be found in our bio, bio on Instagram as well as TikTok. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Thanks and goodbye.